Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. What's in your news for February 24, 2024? Today is Saturday. I'm going to go through this as best I can. Sandra Jilt, she was a teacher in Barbados. She has died. Her husband was buried sometime January this year, 2024. So this family is going through a lot at this time. This is going on in um, Atlantic breeze I see it in your news again today you'll probably come across it further down in the news where um, these people they're, they're complaining about the work on their new homes it's shoddy it's they're leaking and they got a letter from um, Mark Maloney telling them to shut up you know PM's pill for nurses I think the Prime Minister Mia Motley here she is is trying to rescue the nurses and trying to stop them from going elsewhere to look for employment it's just a matter of paying them well pay the nurses well and they'll stay st ambrose parents voice concerns there are a lot of um, problems at the schools in barbados a lot of sick buildings that's really what it is sick buildings buildings that have been around for years and need good cleaning need um, some love and care that's it and keep the air conditioning on or the fans running sandals they're facing a lawsuit thorn is in the news he, he's going to be in the news a lot i think he's loving it <laughs> okay these people um built a bench in miami beach area of um, Barbados because the ones that were there were rotted and you know the people the authority for things like that they're saying that if there is anything to be put on the beach it's that's within our our purview and you know don't try to take over that's that's basically it for that don't try to be a law unto your own self okay, going through. This is what showed up in your news yesterday and today i've combined it yesterday i was just overwhelmed tired fix ailing health system that's what don this is in your news saying i guess he's coming back out of his cocoon Mechanic Bay up and running. Some people don't want to pay the rent to get off the road, but um, they're saying it's up and running and you know, you need to convince Barbadians um, to do the right thing. Just do the right thing. Get off the road, stop blocking traffic, stop, you know, messing up an environment, an entire neighborhood because of the the site. It's, it's unsightly, so pay the rent rent some space and, and get off the road. Okay, he's going through. Cheap side vendor is fed up with conditions. Law firm wraps Safari. Laws already in place to address banking. Someone has to protect customers. That's what this um, person said, Thompson. New crop season, same issues. <laughs> it was supposed to get better. I guess it didn't. Yeah, they're saying Jamar Bino doesn't show remorse for what has happened. Or what happened in the past this lady is in the news or fana aline this vending machine takes your money but don't give you what you've paid for i've blogged on a lot under separate videos i invite you to subscribe to my youtube channel she showed up in your news a lot of you know I, I, with r.i.p next to her name He's a grown man now, but he's in your news. He needs a lot of love and care. He needs mentors. He, he just needs your help. Yeah, he went off for 10 years. Jamal Amal Skeet went off for 10 years. He showed up in your news with, with RIP next to him. 
he showed up in your news with RIP next to him. She showed up in your news with RIP next to her. He showed up in your news with RIP next to him. I blogged on this under a separate video, blogged on her again under a separate video. Um, John, his name is John Mar Anel. His hearing sentencing has been deferred to February 29. They're waiting for, you know, some pre-sentencing stuff on him. He's not going anywhere. He'd be okay. This is an um, agrofest. This is in Queens Park and St. Michael. Um, yeah, I, I blogged on this under a separate cover. If you go to my site, which you're probably on if you're looking at this, yeah, you'll see that there's a a stagnant um, set of water, a body of water that the Ministry of Health may want to look at. Mia Motley and the Deputy Prime Minister, Santia Bradshaw, they are picking up the pace for road repairs. This is what you saw earlier, frustrated Atlantic Breeze homeowners. This is this with this here is what I talked about earlier. Violet celebrates her 100th birthday. Barbie, this is off the gray list. So I guess whoever is doing whatever they're doing there, they are they're authorized to do what they do there. If you're not authorized, they put you on a gray list. That you just need to. You know, follow follow the rules. So follow the rules. It, nothing has stopped. Okay, nothing has stopped. You just need to follow the rules. I spoke about this under a separate video. What's with this short pants kind of thing? You know, you, I don't know. Tackling the housing problem. Um, no matter what goes on in the world, people you know dress up and go to parties and celebrate here you go again this is Afrofest this is Oyston Bay Garden And this is the end of your news. This is Sherry Veronica. Help me spread the word about Naked Departure via social media. Subscribe and share to show support and love for our channels.